Level up. Huh. Ah. Okay. Use a vulnerary. For no one. Sauce just stands here and look pretty. Take out this dildo with Leonardo. Weapon level up. Attack with Edward up close. Oh, I missed. Javelin. Heal with Laura. Alright. Oh, you suck. Hmm. 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 Level up. As you can see, Sauce Growth Rate is not that great. Hmm. Take a look at the boss. Oh, he has a he has a disciple uh, skill. We're going to steal that with Soth. This asshole with Nolan. Ow, that did a lot of damage. Nice! Okay, I need to heal both Edward and Leonardo. Now. One thing you need to note, he, this is a heal hedge. You move the unit over to it, and they will gradually restore, it'll gradually restore HP. It's, it's kind of like the fortresses from other games. Let me show you how it works. Just have them wait on it, and it'll restore HP. Let's see. Steal the discipline scroll. Have Laura heal Edward. Eh! Eh, you won't get away! I'll slice through you like a hot knife through cold butter! Open level up. What are we now? Rank, rank S, I think? No, A rank with, with knives. Move out of the way, have Makaya move in with the kill with the Thonny Tome. You! Crawl quiet! 
You, crawl quietly back to your cell, and I'll spare you. More than that, however, I cannot promise. Don't be so sure. This isn't our first fight, and it won't be our last. A brave yet foolish sentiment. Before the might of the Empire, you Lolas are just crap dirt beneath my boots. Even if you run, there is no place for you scum to go. For now, let's just get away! Thank you so much, all of you. Because of your bravery, I can finally rejoin my merchant caravan. Still, coming back to Navassa, I'm stunned at the terrible state of things. Who would have thought that Benyon would rule with such an iron fist? They run your nations with boundless cruelty, looting the towns and sending your able-bodied men to camps. It breaks my heart. To make me miss Ashnard's ki Ashnard, Dan's late Mad King, and I never thought I'd say that. At least he never tried to destroy Crimea as a country. What do you mean by that? People make a country. One person, even a noble king, does not make a country. And a strong country only exists when its people are strong. As Benyon slowly cr crushes its citizenry, it slowly destroys Dayan. The dastards are treating Dayan like a nation of slaves! If this persists, this persists. Dayan's strength will be sapped, and the nation itself will, be, will cease to be. Then what should we do? What can we do to save our country? There is a rumor. If it's true, there might be hope. Look off. Look here, George. Don't go spotting off rumors. No, I want to know. If there's a shred of hope for us, tell me. Well, the rumor is that King Ashtar left, left an orphan behind. Really? Is that true? King Ashtar had a child? Why have I never heard of this? It's just a rumor, nothing more. But if it's true, it would strike a gr strike. It would be a strike of great fortune for Dayan. In the last war, Crimea used the scion of the royal family to unify its people and rally a liberation army. So could Dayan. And drive out the loathsome Banyan! So where is this orphan? According to rumor, he's in the east, near the Desert Death, trying to raise an army to lay claim to the throne. Shall we go there? Micaiah, what do you think? In the desert, an important encounter awaits us. It will, shall be shall be one that changes the shape of our future. Well, that's it then. We must go to the desert to meet our destiny. Save the game. Chapter 4. A Distant Voice. From this point on, blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay. Like like the last game, info is first. Okay, three stars means you'll receive something or a new party member. Two stars means you'll show some information. And one star is just somebody talking. So, first conversation in town. Soth, have you noticed? Yeah, ever since we arrived here. What should we do? Hmm, I don't I, I can't sense any malice. Whoever it is doesn't seem, to, doesn't seem to mean us any harm, but yes, let's do it. All right, on three. One, two, three. Ah! Hey! There, now you can see your face. You're a girl? I'm sorry. No, wait, please don't run. My name is Makaya, don't be afraid. Have you gone mad? Don't tell her your name, we're on the run, remember? It's all right. She's not after us. This is my brother, Soth. We're from Navasa. Oh, uh, hi there. And you are? I'm Meg. What are you doing out here on the edge of the desert? I'm looking for someone. Someone very important. Someone close to my heart. All by yourself? Yes. You're meeting someone out way out here? I'm not sure exactly. All I know is that this is where he came before he disappeared. I thought he meant... Maybe he went into the desert. 
What a coincidence. We're also looking for someone in the desert. Would you like to come along? Really? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, thank you. I've been so lonely since I left Crimea all on my own. You came all the way from Crimea? I'm surprised you made it this far. That's it, then. Welcome aboard, Meg. You're one of us now. Alright, Meg. She is the your first armored unit of the game. And she fucking sucks. She sucks. She's like Meg from Family Guy. Nobody fucking likes her. My recommendation, take all of her equipment and skills and let her die. She is absolutely worthless. Oh, there you are. Can we have a mo can we have a word with you? Amy, Mustin, how may I help you? Relax, honey. I'm I'm here to tell you about our business. You like the shop, don't you? Let me guess. You want us to sell us weapons and other items, am I right? That's right. Our inventory changes depending on where we are and what time it is. But one thing is always the same. We guarantee fair prices. So stop by whenever you can. Do you carry tones? Yup. Fire, thunder, wind, light. We've got your bases covered. My shop also had lots of stabs and medicine. Oh, and I've recently made some key connections. Now I carry some very rare items. They're one of a kind and very valuable. You should come have a look. Rare weapons, too. Honestly, you should buy them before someone else does. At these prices, they're bound to sound quickly. This is a one-player game. No one else is going to buy them. Well, that's our spiel. Thanks for listening. Do come by. We'll be waiting. More merchants. Well, hello. Don't mind us. We won't take but a moment of your time. Hello, George. Hello, Daniel. We want to tell you, tell you a little about what we can do for you. I've already told her. George will buy us buy from us any items and weapons we, that we no longer need. And Daniel... Hey! Excuse me! We're here, we're here to talk to Micaiah. Not some not to some stuffy know-it-all pong. George, don't be so rude. Sorry about that, Soph. Anyway, we just wanted to tell you about some changes made to our business. Alright then. I'll keep, my, I'll keep my mouth shut as long as Daniel is talking. Thank you. So what do you have, Daniel? Hey, thanks for asking. I've got a guy who's a master blacksmith. He makes weapons you wouldn't believe, and they're not available anywhere else. Hey, thanks a lot, George. I make, I'll make weapons, too. Pretty good ones, if I do say so myself. It's just, you know, customs have been extremely tight lately. Raw materials are so hard to come by. Which reminds you, if you, have any, if you, have, if you ever have weapons you don't need, would you sell them to us? Yes, please. Actually, even better, sell me your weapons, and I'll give them to Daniel. Then he can smelt them down and use the steel for newer, shinier pieces. It costs some money to upgrade weapons, but hey, let's face it, it's worth the money. Only a custom-made weapon sets you apart from the common soldier. Oh, and here's a one-time deal only. I won't even charge you for materials on your first upgrade. Pretty nice, huh? Now you have, now you have no excuse not to come by. Got that, Micaiah? Um, yes, thank you. One last thing, if you ever bring me a coin, I'll give you a little bonus on whatever I'm making for you. They're very rare, so be sure to hang on to them. Don't sell them to some stranger. Oh yeah, the coins from last game. The useless pieces of gold that we got. You sell a coin, it's worth like one gold. Now they're actually worth something, so hold on to them. What are you doing out here, Kurth? Hello, Micaiah. Pay me no mind, I'm just watching the desert. How the wind changes the, land, the sandscape. The ebb and flow of the dunes like giant swells in the ocean. I find it mesmerizing. Is this your first time in the desert? Yes, my homeland is ranged with mountains. Everything about Dayan looks new and curious to my eyes. I see. You have not asked. I'm sorry? You have not asked me who I am or where I'm from. Not just you, Micaiah, but the others as well. No one seeks to know who I am. You seem to not want to talk about yourself, am I right? Yes. Quite right. Well, that's why no one wants. No one asks. People can tell when someone wants privacy. Many of us desire privacy, too. Kurth, you are not our enemy. I know that much. You are kind and gentle. That is all I need to know. Thank you. Alright, blah, blah, blah. Support. Oh, yeah. In this game, any unit can have support with any unit. As you can see, Micaiah and Soth already have an A support. Keep that going. And you can, yeah, you can just... Choose anyone to have support with. Let's see, manage skills. Go over to Meg, remove her fortune skill. A 
Okay, put the discipline skill on Micaiah. See, fortune nullifies any critical attacks. Uh, no one's gonna take it for right now, except for Soth, and he doesn't need it here, so. Okay, let's go to the armory. So you can see, it's got all the it's got all your shit that you need. We're gonna buy a bronze knife, and we're gonna give it to Soth. The shop, you know, stabs, cleaning items. Okay, what we want is we want this beast killer here. Get this. Give it to Soth. You will need that. Everything else, the L light magic, you have no, you don't need that. The Thawny Tum is much better. Mend, it's pretty nice, but not worth it this early on in the game. You could get a Javelin and Hand Axe, but you already have one of each, so no need. And the Forge, basically just pick whichever weapon you want, like a knife, for example. Upgrade however much you want to. You know what I mean? Pick the color, and then you can name it, and shit like that. We also have bonus XP from left from the last game. Let's see here. You're close to level up. Let's see here. No, you're close to level up. Do do. Uh, you're close. Okay. Convoy, store this and this. Store this, this. Give that to Leonardo. Store this, this. Store that. Store everything because you're fucking worthless. Take an herb for you. You need. Let's see, actually. Let's go to the. Not the armory. The shop. Get an herb for Laura. Uh, looks like everybody's good. Save the game. Alrighty, and that is all for today. I will see you all the next time I record. Good night, everyone. See you later.